We're given the value of tangent and also a lot of information about theta. Theta is between 0 and pi over 2, so this tells us theta is in quadrant 1. And that means sine, cosine, secant, all the trig functions are positive in the first quadrant, so keep that in mind. So now let's use the uh, tangent. Uh, theta is 24 sevenths. So on this, I'm going to use SOHCAHTOA. So tangents opposite over adjacent. And so our opposite is 24, adjacent is 7. We're in quadrant 1. Everything is positive. So opposite, here's my angle. Opposite of the angle is 24. Now you want to be careful. Adjacent is not this side. That's the hypotenuse. Adjacent is the non-hypotenuse side next to the angle. We do need the hypotenuse, and we can use Pythagorean theorem. As to what this is, you can use a calculator. I don't, I don't have one ready, so I'm just going to leave it like this. All right, now sine is the first one we want to get. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposites 24, hypotenuse is now this hypotenuse squared, it's the square root of that. Uh, cosine is similar, except you're going to use adjacent. That's the A part. All right, secant is 1 over cosine. So it's the reciprocal of cosine. So it's hypotenuse over adjacent. And remember, hypotenuse is this square root 7 squared plus 24 squared. And adjacent is going to be the 7. 